What's up boys and girls, this is the Gacher, and on this video I will be guiding you guys through House of Fiddlespa. And uh, if you ever see this uh, setup with this icon, you should know this is the House of Fiddlespa. And now we move on to the unique units and also unique text that they provide inside this uh, trading post. So firstly, they will provide two different units. One is a skirmisher with the name of the mountain trooper, and the other one is the is a range cavalry, similar to a dragon type unit, and it's called the chevalier. So uh, these are the two units. The skirmisher uh, is like this. The base HP is 120 HP, a four movement speed, 30 percent range resistance, 15 base attack with 20 range and 3 uh, attack speed basically uh, 2 times heavy infantry and 2 times uh, light range cavalry and uh, 7, 0.75 versus hand, inf hand shock infantry and cavalry so it's a almost typical skirmisher type unit but it has a unique ability which is called the skill promotion so for each unit that uh, this unit kills, they will get the range and attack speed uh, uh, increased or at improved basically. So this will stack up to three times. Uh, just have to keep that in mind. And then the uh, the dragon type unit, as you can see, it has uh, 282. Uh, base HP, uh, it will come as a veteran unit by default, so it has a 47 extra HP on top of their base HP. Uh, it has 7 uh, movement speed, 20% range resistance, and it does 23 range, atta uh, range attack with 12 range. The rate of fire is 3. It will does uh, times uh, two uh, times uh, two point five versus heavy cavalry, times two versus artillery, times one point nine versus hand shock infantry, and point five versus villagers or settlers. And also uh, one more thing to see on this really nice unit, their hand hand attack is actually quite nice. They have thirty one hand attack with 1.5 rate of uh, rate of fire and they will do 1.34 versus heavy cavalry and 1.2 versus and shock infantry so uh, inside the trading post they have of course they have the veteran and the guard upgrade as you can see and they have another a unique tech that is called octoberfest so for 100 of each resource you will get one percent of the price that you spend for your units uh, to be uh, refounded or basically it will just directly goes into your uh, inventory so whatever unit that you train up to that point of the game all of the resources will be stacked on top of each other and uh, whenever you press on this upgrade the units will uh, the cost will be refunded to you uh, but keep in mind this is not like the ethiopian uh, mechanic where you just get coin or uh, influence uh, coin sorry coin and influence for the uh, units that you kill this is just a one-time upgrade so whenever you press it that will be the end of it and next, uh, for 600 uh, uh, food and 600 coin, you will get your uh, range cavalry, or basically this dragon unit that you will get from this settlement to inflict a bonus damage to infantry and it will equip them with lance. So as you can see, after I got the upgrade, uh, they will do 1.5 uh they will get a 1.5 multiplier versus all infantry 
so basically it adds one point uh, it adds 0 0.5 to all of their damage as you can see even their melee attack will also provide them uh, extra bonus versus infantry which is a really nice upgrade and next they have an upgrade for two, 250 food and 250 wood uh, they will get the cost of the natives outlaws and mercenaries to be che uh, cheaper and also it will reduce the training time of them as well so uh, the training boost is 10 percent and also their uh, cost will be also reduced by 10 percent for so basically the food coin and wood cost will be reduced by 10 percent for whatever unit that you want to train of course if they are outlaws natives or mercenaries and the final uh upgrade or tech that they have uh for 250 wood and 250 coin you will get your skirmishers gain more a uh, more range uh especially on your uh, on the uh, on the mountain trooper which is a unique unit that you can get from here so and also uh, for the normal skirmishers uh, you will get a plus one range but for these mountain skirmishers you will get plus two range just to show you as you can see you got the range increased by uh, to, uh, by three basically so that means uh, the bonus for general skirmishers will apply and also in addition to that they will get a plus two range for the mountain trooper so that will be overall three range and next uh, we have this upgrade so uh, it will spawn more mounted trooper the longer you wait and it also revealed the location of all enemy uh, buildings so you will get to have these units uh, spawn from this location as you can see this is an upgrade option so the longer you wait the more of them you get and uh, just to show you uh, it was a rank 3 already so whenever you press it it will provide you if there is any uh, enemy unit with the building uh, they will be shown inside the map and then after that uh, as you can see this will be reset to zero and then uh, again you just have to wait longer up to uh, this tech will rank up and provide you with units so i hope you guys found this uh find this video useful if you did, make sure to hit the like and subscribe and turn on the notification down below for future videos. And make sure to check the new and other uh, minor uh, civilizations uh, in the other videos as well. They are pretty interesting and I hope you guys will enjoy it. Until next video, stay safe, have fun and goodbye.